This is um, my last 40 for here. Yeah? And then, um, today in this um, video, I'm just going to be making kind of preview um, uh, and uh, sort of review and tutorial all mixed together um, of an application um, called Inklet. Uh, so this will actually run to new menu bar, it doesn't have a dock icon. Um, so if you haven't read the title yet, but, um, and if you haven't read the title you should read it, but anyway what this application does is um, it basically lets you um, write um, or draw things um, using your trackpad. So um, it's almost like your trackpad is a touch screen except it doesn't actually have a screen. Uh, so um, I'll just show you a good demonstration of this. So you can go to set workspace over here and then drag and drop um, anywhere to set the workspace and then you can just go to start inklet. Um, so um, now you can just start some kind of writing things here. Um, now I've got the demo version at the moment. So, um, so the demo version and the full version it's a little difference, but except the demo version can have this annoying thing sometimes. Uh, but um, uh, there aren't really any other differences between them. Uh, so you can actually exit um, Inklet by um, tapping in the top left. So I'll try writing Hello World here. Uh, so um, it isn't very easy. Um, sometimes you need to kind of look at the screen for a second, look at the trackpad for a second. It kind of gets a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, it can actually um, detect how much pressure you're using. So if you're using lots of pressure, then um, it will have it will kind of um, be a more um, thick the brush, uh, and it's sometimes this can be a bit hard to use. But I'll actually show you how you can um, uh, change this bug here. So as you can see, um, it couldn't it didn't show some things. So you need to um, change the amount of this to about 1.5 um, so that um, makes it run a lot better um, and also it's best to um, disable pressure sensitivity uh, so you, um, there's actually palm rejection so you have the palm of your hand on the trackpads then it kind of um, detects that detects it uh, so um, it might be a bit useful but the trackpad is a bit too small so it's probably good for external trackpads. Uh, so if you go back to the general, uh, there is handwriting recognition. Um, it takes a while um, to enable it, and it lags a bit. But um, I think if you uh, click here, um, actually you need to click this um, note thing here, uh, so you can actually write things. Uh, you need to um, set this to the workspace. And once it's set to the workspace, you can start this um, and actually um, I'll just exit this uh, so um, uh, you can't actually use backspace but you can clear everything here so you've enabled it, text it, it and start inklet um, you can um, uh, scroll with two fingers to change the position of this but the scrolling is um, isn't uh, changed to the normal line scrolling so we'll just um, try writing it down um, Hello World here. Uh, so it's detected that letter correctly. Uh, so this is quite accurate, but it isn't perfect though. Uh, so it hasn't detected this L properly. Um, and it isn't good at detecting Ls, but maybe capital Ls are better. Uh, it thinks that this is a zero instead of O, same um, as this one. Uh, so it's um, just disabling for 20 seconds again. Uh, so um, I think the um, it isn't great. Um, actually, Mac OS 10, uh, I think if you enable Chinese, has a feature a bit similar to this, um, which uses the trackpad. Um, but I'm not sure if this works in other languages, but it works um, quite well with English. So um, I'll try it. I don't think you can use space um, in this, but I'll just um, write down worlds here. Uh, so it can detect if something is a capital letter or not, um, but the capital letter detection isn't very accurate. Uh, so I've almost finished writing this. So it can detect a capital L, fine. Uh, so this is really slow, so it's a lot faster to type. Um, but this is quite great if you, um, for example, 
if this works with another language and you write in another language and you're not perfect using the keyboard for it. So you can send this to the active application um, and if you make some spelling mistakes you can just edit them quickly. Um, it does actually add um, a space between each letter, I'm not sure you can change that. It is a bit annoying though. Uh, so um, I think this is most of the features that this application has. So anyway, this is just meant to be a quick video, not really advanced. Um, so there's going to be a link in the description to um, buy this or download the demo. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching this um, video. Please write in the comments video, please subscribe, and please share comments different videos and tutorials on my channel, which is my um, Master 4248.